Today we're going to continue on building the loft bedroom and so it's going to be open to the downstairs and so we're just going to do a 42 inch wall and then we'll continue our knee wall in the reading nook. So let's show you what that looks like. I think you'll see we're coming along nicely. Easy E, rocking non-stop on the radio with the funky fresh hip hop and stereo. With the rhymes that are so demanding. And the beats that are so outstanding. Look at that. So, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna build a wall 41 and a half inches. It's gonna stop right here. Same on this side. It'll come past this, it'll come past this corner, come so right here, stop. That'll give us a 30 by 30 for our landing for our 60 inch spiral. I really wanted to keep this natural light flowing from the outside to the reading nook and on into the bedroom. That's how we're gonna build it. So stay tuned. Let's have some fun. So basically we're building a wall. So we're gonna need a bottom plate, a top plate, and then our stud 16 inches on center. So let's show you what that looks like, how to build a wall. So how do you mark this? You pull your tape, pull your tape from the end. And mark three quarters either way. Six, go to 16. Boom. Because you're gonna be 16 on center, then you mark three quarters either way. You put the boards next to each other so you can mark both at the same time. And they'll be straight up and down. As he pulled from the end to 16 inches, 16, Boom. 32, Boom. 48, 64, and so on. And made an X. And then you take the square. Okay. And three quarters on either side of that X. Make that line. And that'll get our stud 16 inches on center, which is what you need. So he's looking down each one of these boards because every board has a crown on it. And when you're building the wall, you want all the crowns to match so that you're not popping drywall screws later on. So you have a, and when you're building a wall on the ground, he's putting all the crowns up so that if they were down, it would be difficult to nail the studs to the plates. So those are a couple of tricks you definitely want to use later on. You go to hang that drywall. You don't want you don't want some of them in and some of them bowed out. It's gonna make the drywall flex and that'll eventually pop your nails or your screws. You gotta think to the next step. Especially if you're doing all the work, then you definitely want to plan ahead for the next step. Okay. Top side. So then we'll. Car there. Yeah. The exit. Pretty much framed up with our loft area. I'll show you what that looks like. You're gonna come up a spiral stair. Right here. And then the, this will be the bedroom. It's got a little half wall. Closet area. Come around this side, you got a big bathroom area. And then over here, we've got our reading nook. Which actually overlooks the living room. 
in the kitchen area. So we took an unfinished attic space and turned it into a one bedroom, one bath, loft bedroom with either an office or a reading space. And that pretty much does it for today.